We know that to succeed in business today, it requires skills in communication and leadership. And Toastmasters training provides just that kind of skill. Last year we started focusing more on the corporate club. And well, currently we have seven countries. Well, this year we were so successful having 50 plus clubs. Well, the majority of those clubs is corporate clubs. Majority of them are corporate. The majority of them are corporate clubs. We, we chartered a club. I chartered a club when I was an area governor in 2006 at GE Capital. Bank of America, Merrill Lynch has 60 Christmas across the world. And we have a club in every corp every major corporate office across Canada. How many clubs have you got? Thirty. There's a lot of our professionals give a lot of presentations. We used to give briefings to executive management every Thursday morning at 8.15. The briefings were always the same. 10 to 15 minute presentations followed by 10 to 15 minutes of questions and answers. Our management realized that we were in dire need of adult supervision. So they asked us to start a Toastmasters club. Then they started improving. Then marketing said, you know what? Maybe there's something to this. So they required the marketing people to go ahead and join the Toastmasters Club. Because companies want to develop their employees. If you give them something that works and they can see it, especially the HR person, they are more than likely to approve it. And I work for corporate headquarters human, uh, with retention. They are part of human resource. So they saw it as a way to retain their employees, a benefit to give their employees, and for two, that they would get people who do better presentations. The main thing that they see is a career development. I think uh, that is the uh, staff's development because uh, most of them are more confident and uh, they go out and they bring in more sales. In their presentations, they do well, and the meetings are well, better conducted. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We used to have meetings that did not start on time. They did not run on time. Nothing was accomplished in the meetings, and they ended for one reason and one reason only. Someone else was knocking on the door because they had the room reserved next. Through Toastmasters, we learned more effective meeting management. We learned how to run our meetings so that they started on time accomplished everything on the agenda, and even finished early. They're learning how to facilitate meetings. They're learning how to organize groups. It's valuable, and it's something that you can't do just on your job. I know an example of a person that we have in work who was so afraid of communication, they would not call the help desk if they had a problem with their computer. This person failed a career exam for, for promotion because they couldn't communicate. They that couldn't. person presented their number 10 speech at the demo meeting that created the four IT clubs that we now have in the IT branch of my company. He wouldn't speak to himself in a mirror. This person is now a team leader. They have no problem communicating with people. This is what this program does. Through our participation in Toastmasters, we learned to give better briefings so that when we gave those same briefings on Thursday mornings at 8.15 to executive management, we still gave a 10 to 15 minute presentation, but now the questions and answers were down to two to three minutes. The other thing that I think is most powerful is our evaluation process. I use that in looking at articles that my boss has written or information my boss gives me. I use it in performance evaluations I just use the evaluation portion of Toastmasters in all of my daily aspects of the work. If, to tell you one small experience is I, I used to get angry every five minutes I, before I came into the leadership track. And seriously, now I really do not know when I last got angry. One. Two, I run a company of my own I've been in the last 30 years in business. And I lost my last staff member of my company five years ago because now I communicate with them. I don't order them. And I attribute all that to the Toastmasters journey. And we also found out that there was a camaraderie in the office. 
from the members that were also involved in Toastmasters because you heard about each other, you found out about your coworkers in ways that you never experienced just simply working in the next office. The networking. I have met people that I see every day but have never talked to and now it is this close network of friends almost. And the thing is, it's not what I call hit and get. They don't go somewhere, learn a course for one day, and if they don't use it right away, it starts to fade. This is something that goes on and on and on, and for a dollar a week. Show me another training program where your employees will help pay for the training program and do so happily. Is you just need a couple of champions in that particular, anywhere in fact. That it was important for management to stay involved in what was going on in the Toastmasters Club. Mm -hmm. Great benefits. Really what Dare to Win is, is telling you that you have overcome your fear of what you're attempting to do. That's what's really important, is overcoming your fear and moving forward.